Disc Labs is an international company with offices in the UK, USA, New Zealand and the Netherlands. They are computer forensic and data recovery specialists, so if you lose data, it may not be as bad as you think. Scratch CDs and DVDs, dropped and broken flash drives, memory cards from floods, computer drives that have been in household fires, or a microchip that has been simply dislodged from a circuit board. These are just some of the problems with storage devices. Disc Labs work on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It doesn't really matter when data was originally lost or deleted. Disc Labs are able to recover data from several years ago. Valuable files can be recovered with Disc Labs forensic expertise, and data that has been even overwritten can also be found. Just to prove how complex deleting data is, if you do delete a file off your computer, it's going to be in the recycle bin. By deleting it from the recycle bin, doesn't actually delete it. It's the, the analogy would be opening a book. If you delete it, you're merely taking out the reference in the index. The page is still there, the document's still there, it just you don't know where to find it. So what we can do is we can, in fact, sort through all the data that is there, and rather than use the index, just analyse everything piece by piece until we come across the data that we're looking for. So it's very, very difficult indeed. Uh, this is how probably 90% of all internet child abuse cases, or child pornography as it's most commonly known, is actually retrieved. With Disc Lab's expertise, the condition of a media storage device, such as a hard drive, is not too important. If a drive has failed, Disc Labs can repair it and, if need be, investigate what is on the device. Over at the clean facility, a typical scenario of a broken drive is when the actuator arm fails to park after scanning the drive. One operating properly will work like this one. When the drive has been scanned, the actuator arm parks. Disc Labs can replace the actuator arm or transfer the data on a broken drive to a new one. There are very few companies in Europe that come close to what Disc Labs can do with computer forensics. Put simply, this is the art of retrieving data, from a hard drive for example, and being able to present whatever is found as an accurate record of what's contained on the device. To do this, we utilise various hardware and software tools. We use hardware write blockers, which stops us writing to the device. This ensures that the evidence that we gain hasn't been manipulated by anyone and therefore can't be tampered with. Cases that we get involved with can be as varied as industrial espionage, internet child abuse, otherwise known as child pornography, murders, rapes. Mobile phones are nowadays tested to find out whether somebody was making a phone call during a car crash. There may be a case that the driver wasn't paying due care and attention. Security is a number one concern at Disc Labs. There are ram raid bollards outside protecting the building, multiple security systems when entering on foot, and all of the workplaces inside require clearance. The staff that work inside of here are all police checked uh, to ensure that they don't have any criminal records. They're also home office security cleared. This enables them to work on very sensitive material. Uh, in addition to that, it also ensures that evidential continuity is not lost. Disc Lab's work is highly confidential, so securing the data on the premises is a maximum priority. The exhibit storage facility is a room within a room. We have a fire safe inside of that, also all the data is stored on RAID 5 arrays. When we split the exhibits down and take hard drives out of them, those are then kept in the fire safe within the exhibit storage area. This ensures that when analysts are not working on exhibits, they're stored in a fully secure place that's inside already the forensic facility. It's not just about preserving data, however. Sensitive and sometimes illegal material has to be disposed of safely when it has been completely finished with. Data destruction is mainly used by the courts. More often than not, when a, um, an exhibit is used in a court of law as evidence, it may contain sensitive material. The court may request that that data be destroyed and certified that it was destroyed. Here at Disc Labs, we can do that in a, in a secure manner and provide a certificate for the courts to say that that's been completed. Disc Labs work closely with commercial organisations. It is in using the incredible power of computer forensics that they can help secure a company's intellectual assets. Directors of companies, senior managers or people in accounts predominantly leave companies sometimes with invaluable data that doesn't belong to them. They'll then take that to either a competitor or indeed sell that data which then could be used against the original company. This sort of industrial espionage is where we get called in. It doesn't end there. 
Disc Labs also provides support for a number of police authorities dealing with suspect media storage devices. It could hold the names and addresses of high public profile figures. Um, so the police really need to uh, be completely confident in that when they give us the exhibits to examine that the information will remain within Disc Labs. All work is carried out to the standards of the Association of Chief Police Officers. Pre-imaging is the first stage in analysing an exhibit. The item is taken from storage and logged in as a work in progress. Then the package is opened and the device's serial number is written down as well as the analyst's name. The exhibit is then staged with a log number and photographed from the outside in. This PC hard drive can only be removed when an electrostatic wristband is worn for safety. It is also photographed with the exhibit number. Throughout the pre-imaging stage, the time and day are recorded meticulously. Imaging is the crucial second stage of computer forensics. Once again, the electrostatic wristband is worn by the analyst. The drive is then loaded into a caddy. The imaging phase is, is a method of taking the data on the exhibit and taking a byte-for-byte -byte copy, so an exact duplication of what we uh, class as being the target source. This ensures that the original data uh, is unchanged and we only work on copied data. Disk Labs use a number of specialist computer forensic products. NCASE is the primary tool in the analyst forensic arsenal. It is an internationally recognised software product. It enables the analyst to delve deep inside the data. A hard drive may appear to be empty, but NCASE enables deleted files that were previously deleted by any user to be recovered. It's so powerful that it enables the analyst to retrieve any data that has been present on the storage device in the past. This can be used in a preview analysis to determine a smoking gun. OK, now we're going to utilise one of these high-powered machines um, to bring the data into NCASE and analyse in detail. So we can then search uh, the data that's there for, uh, uh, in line with the case remit. We'll then see the, the data has now appeared in the left-hand pane. From this, we can select to look at different views. And what we're going to do here is look at a gallery view of the drive. This enables us to pick up every picture that's on the device and review. If we find a picture that we believe to be in Oculus, we can look at that in more detail, uh, either in internally in the application, or we can look at it in a different view as the user may have seen it on the screen. If at that point we feel that it's relevant, we can bookmark that image. If we see a picture that we're, we've got some interest in, we can highlight that picture check the picture tab down here at the bottom we get a, a full view of the picture. We can also look on the report view we can see when it was created, when it was written to and modified. Password cracking used to be an unpredictable and massively time-consuming business but this has largely changed. Technology and software today is more advanced so what used to take days, months or even years can be done in hours or even minutes. The powerful machines that are now available today enable us to use the memory that's inside the computers to uh, attack a password uh, and, and whereby retrieve it a lot quicker. We use our software and services for assisting law enforcement agencies and legal departments in trying to access data that was previously locked by encryption methods. Steganography is a process where an image can be hidden by another image or data within data. This process coupled with a password is one technique favoured by paedophiles in distributing illegal material. So once Disk Labs solve a password, the data in a document can be analysed and the findings reported to the appropriate law enforcement agencies. Mobile phone forensics enables the analyst to not only retrieve data that's on the handset, but also data that's present on the SIM card. This technique is used by police forces, legal practices and in some civil cases throughout the UK. Civil cases, for instance, could be a divorce hearing, where the claimant is suggesting that the respondent had an affair with a particular person. Or with the police, it could be gathering evidence in a missing persons inquiry, for example. Mobile phone forensics can recover data from the handset to see whether or not that person was actually calling 
um, that person on a day-to-day -day basis, whether they're taking images, uh, sent text messages or received text messages. So it can be used in a versatile manner. Disc Labs can also recover network data settings that are present on the SIM card and the IMEI number from the handset. This is a one-off number registered to each mobile phone, whereby making everyone completely unique. Hey!